Collection pages, especially the collection pages for retail stores, is an essential part to help your site stand out among competitors and win your customers. It can effectively show what you're selling and quickly convert a visitor into a buyer, even a loyal shopper. So taking care of your collection page is really helpful in getting more traffic and also sales and conversions. That's why in this video, we'll come down to unpack the best practices to win your retail store's collection page on Shopify. Let's get started now. Page five. Hello everyone, it's Phoebe from Ecom Learning with PageFly channel, and welcome to our whole new series of starting an online business niche. In the last video, we discussed a very important part of your online store, landing pages. You can click here to discover if you missed that. Your collection page, like any other, is important for Google to perceive your site as valuable and ranking it for organic search terms. Especially retail stores need it to be on top of search results so that customers can easily access as many products as possible. With the right content and SEO practices, your Shopify collection page can bring in organic traffic that converts into sales. So what recipes makes a good collection page for retail selling? Above all, the basics are always important. Let me walk you through the page layout or format first. Then we can look at the product details later on, like how to make the products attractive to all visitors and many things more. Consider if you want to use a grid view or a list view first, because retail selling means you're offering a huge number of products. Therefore, choosing how to list out products impressively is an issue that needs to be noticed. Use a list view for spec-driven product verticals unless a grid view can provide enough list item information and a grid view for visually different ones, switching between the two as needed. In the list view, there's more room to include category-specific product attributes, reducing the need for the user to pogo stick between the product list and product pages when trying to determine which products are of relevance and which aren't. List views on mobile devices allow more room for specs, which allows easier scanning. By using a grid view, you are able to make the product thumbnails large enough so that the customers are able to accurately evaluate the product's aesthetics directly from the product list, leading to exceptionally few product page detours. Secondly, I suggest not using pagination and endless scrolling on both desktop and mobile sites. With category-based product lists, you can consider using load more in conjunction with lazy loading, and for search results, use load more. Load more proved to be the loading strategy that worked best across desktop and mobile devices for both category-based product lists and search results. A load more option allows customers to determine whether or not they need to see more products as well as to display all products on one page, making it easier to compare things. The next issue that a retailer should not neglect is about the thumbnail. Thumbnail sizes should reflect the user's need for visual product information. The first thing that is really important is that thumbnail sizes should reflect the user's need for visual product info. The issue here is that the visual is the thumbnail may be too small for the user to view. Some particular products, such as clothing or shoes, are typically picked based on their visuals. You can consider the following suggestion. Show products in grid view so that customer can have a whole view of your offer. The number of columns in grid view can also be reduced for good structure. Don't forget to make your products responsive upscaling. Finally, you can change the thumbnail on hover. Selling retail is nothing similar to us now. If you want to have customers, you should catch their attention by making them impressed when they first see your products making them interested in your products, and then they will keep up and discovering more about what you are offering. Customers would want as much information visually as possible in the product list. And there's just one single static image show, you'll miss the chance to give customers what they really want. As a result, you should offer a supplementary thumbnail on Hover, in addition to the regular cutout thumbnail. I'll give you this best kinds of thumbnail for your retail stores. 
A lifestyle thumbnail shows a product shot with image of a person wearing it. This is really good. Sometimes it can be really difficult to see how a jacket looks when it's on. A customer's feedback at H&M, where jackets are shown in cutout th thumbnails, but are then displaced in lifestyle thumbnails on hover. This gives customers a clear view of what they are actually buying and also sees the product in an inspirational context of use, something that was greatly appreciated by customers. A compatibility thumbnail is displayed along with a dependency product. Here, it is shown in a cutout image by default, while the compatible product is shown on hover. As a result, customers will be in no doubt about the compatibility of this item. A feature call-out thumbnail is used to highlight the key product features, and this is helpful as it makes your product stand out from the other retail stores. On Apple, the default thumbnails of the second item is a cutout, where the secondary thumbnail shown on hover is a feature called out. Secondary thumbnail like this helps users to judge whether item fits their needs. The final thumbnail suggest is product variation thumbnail for product that have variations. Running shoes are shown as cutout thumbnails on Adidas, and when the mouse hover over the list items, color variation will be shown. Retail products means they are popular in daily life and have a billion kinds of forms, colors, materials, and many more. Customers will carefully choose one that fits the needs their interest is before deciding to purchase. Showing products with variants strategically is a great way to pair the customer's need with what you are offering. The first thing for you is to use swatches to indicate color variations in list items and a single swatch or text if there's only one color. You need to ensure that the swatches are large enough to provide user with sufficient visual information in case all color variations can't be shown clearly, indicate the total number. Take this as an example. It might take the viewer a long time to notice that a certain product have a variety of color options at the end of the list item when she was looking at sofas at Pottery Barn. Content labels are forgotten, especially if they don't stand out from the rest of the text. Next, don't forget to combine variations of products into one list items. The customer is likely to be confused when seeing product variation in a separate list item and could stop their journey if he cannot find suitable variation. Variation would be shown very clearly if product variations are combined in one list item. I think there's too many. And also, why you put in six of the same speakers in different color? That's just confusing. Customers complained about Clutter's product list on this page, for example. Besides, don't forget to include essential and category-specific product attributes and list items. When selling retails, there's many things you need to include on the website. But please take notice of this issue. Your customers are likely to discard perfectly suitable products if they cannot find sufficient and relevant list item information. So please make sure that your list item includes price, a product thumbnail, a product title or type, product variations, and user ratings, along with one to three category-specific attributes. The truth is, many customers rely on ratings and reviews to select products. However, the star average by itself provides insufficient information. More importantly, in many cases of retail, customer received products which are not alike with the ones they see online store. They can be different in colors, materials, actual size, and so on. Therefore, you should include both the ratings average and the number of ratings in product list items, ensuring that the ratings average is displayed on both desktop and mobile devices. And consider using the ratings average numeral besides the ratings average stars. When first sorting the product list by top rated, the customers got this list of products, all with five star ratings. However, as he was unable to see how many ratings these five-star average were based on, there's a little chance for him to believe that it was in fact. So here, I can see not only the review average, but also the number of reviews. I'd rather have something that has 700 reviews, but only a four-star average, because then I know people still buy it. 
The number of ratings for these headsets help the customers to get a reliable impression of how others rated them. Besides those things, as a retailer, is it important to show off and add a personality so as to stand out from others? However, the collection pages on Shopify aren't particularly impressive. They only provide you image and heading content to work with. So we'll take this chance to show you some of the great collection pages for inspiration so that you can turn their collection pages into a unique experience. We offer a huge source of templates and pre-made sections, which are helpful to personalize your collection page. The truth is, Shopper enjoys having a variety of options, but only if it's set up in a way that allows them to get information according to their taste. Retail stores must serve a number of products and also a huge amount of products information. It takes you time to have a strategy to create your Shopify collection page smartly, which makes it simple to organize your products. Before saying goodbyes, I just want to make sure that you've already known about the third video of this series, which would unpack a myriad of secrets of the homepage for phone case stores. Promise it was worth waiting for. Click subscribe button and get notification so that you won't miss any of our videos. See you later.